What's up guys? So today we are at the BGC Memorial Cemetery and I'm telling you this place is absolutely stunning. It's so huge. I've been here for four years and I have never actually visited this place. But let me show you how it looks like. It is so massive. It's so clean as well. I was surprised that uh, they allow people in. Apparently it was closed for the entire time during pandemic. But now it's opened up. But look at this, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna show you the inside later because they have all the names engraved on the wall of the people that passed away. It is so nice. Look how beautiful this place is. And it's so well maintained. This is the nicest cemetery I've ever been into. Wow. Right, let's go straight ahead this way. Uh, I wanna show you the walls. So this memorial was dedicated to the 17,000 soldiers that fell in World War II uh, between 1941 and 1945. But I'm telling you guys, this place is so, so beautiful. Look at this, they have the supply routes across the Pacific Ocean, 1941, 1945. Basically all the history around it. The war against Germany, 1941. The entire map. But wow. And look at the roof here. And if we go straight ahead, you can see all the names that are engraved on the wall of the people that passed away. It says United States Marine Corps. So nice. But look at the view from here as well. Absolutely stunning. Right here we have all the names that were engraved on the wall. Let me show you. It says here the Medal of Honor. And you can see the captains, USN California, and it's just written all over in every single wall. It's pretty crazy. But I'm just surprised how well maintained it is. Look at this guys. And even on the on the floor, you can see the engravings. It says the great seal of the state of Nevada. Wow. I'm just gonna keep walking around just to show you everything guys. Right here we have the Great Seal of State of New Jersey. So it's all different states by the looks of it. We have New Mexico right here. More Medal of Honor. Wow, what a place. United States Navy. That's crazy. All right, let's keep walking around and see what's happening here. It's crazy that I've never been here before. I honestly thought this was a private place and you couldn't go in. Uh, I just Googled it this morning and it said that it was closed during a pandemic, but now it's open to the public. But wow, very, very beautiful. And the center of this, look at the size of these trees. And then you have the Filipino flag as well. This is literally my first time in a cemetery. I've never been to one ever in my life. But wow. And the thing is, it just goes endless. It just keeps going, keeps going. It's just non-stop. For anybody that wants to visit this place, it's just located right in BGC. So if you go here to the right, you have Esamora. It's completely free to get in. All you need is a, an ID and you'll be able to access the memorial. So we're gonna head this way and see what we can find over there. So, so clean. I'm actually surprised how beautiful it is. It's kinda sad at the same time, but you know, it's really nice to come and visit this place with all the history as well right there you have the Filipino flag on the left and the American on the right side it looks like somebody dropped their hat so I think I'm gonna take the hat 
and give it back at the reception area. So, so nice. So I think I can see some guys on the far end. So I'm gonna give them back their hat. It says American Battle Monument Commission. So we'll give it back to them and see what they say. I know there's a lot of cemeteries around uh, Manila, Pasay especially, and I never been in them, but I seen pictures and they're just not very well maintained, which makes sense as well, you know, this is an American memorial, but I'm just still surprised of how well maintained it is and free, you know, free to visit, you know, so most of this, most of the, most of the times these places are just private and they don't let you check it out. So I'm very surprised that they actually let you come in and just have a walk around. But they don't want you to prank massive camera equipment. So right now I'm using my phone. So be discreet. If you come here, be very discreet, be respectful, and nobody will tell you anything. So be mindful of that. So this right here is the main entrance of the memorial, and it's just a long road to the end right here where I started. Crazy. All right, let's give back the hat. Oh yeah, the hat, the hat, the hat. It's literally a perfect day to come here. So relaxing, it's not raining, it's not hot, not too cloudy, it's perfect temperature. Guys, comment below, is there any other cemeteries in the Philippines, or Metro Manila at least, where you can film with your phone and be very discreet? Because I would love to visit the one in Pasay, but I heard there's so many security cameras and it's just not worth the risk. Anyway, I found a guy I can give the hat. I'm gonna give the hat to this guy right here. I found the hat in the corner. I'll give it to you. Thank you. No worries, have a good day. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for today's tour. It's really, really hot. And I'm not wearing glasses, so I can't really see too well. I have like very uh, bad problems with uh, light. But I hope you guys like this little tour. I mean, what an absolutely beautiful place. Uh, if you have the time, definitely check it out. It's very nice. Just be very discreet and respectful. And there's a lot of history here. If you want to come here and just read all, all about the history of what happened in World War II and you know where the Americans were located at the time, yeah, there's a lot of history. A lot, a lot of history, and it's actually very interesting. Um, but other than that, guys, I hope you guys like the video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. My God is bright. Peace out.